What's up guys, Daniel here. I'm gonna do a profile for the uh, remote YCS for Team Inspired. Uh, before we get started, I'm gonna do a couple of shout outs. Shout outs to you behind the camera, Solo Games, check them out. Um, shout outs to Carlos, shout out to Francisco. I talked to them a lot about theory. I didn't listen to him all that much. That's why my deck looks funny. But uh, this basically is like Connie's list, but slightly worse from Canada. Um, shout outs to Kamal, shout outs to Ruben, shout outs to Zay, he's passing by, shout outs to Christian, Damien, uh, shout outs to Adrian, for Damien and Christian, uh, shout outs to Andres for letting me borrow most of the deck, Shaheen let me borrow the rest, also a big shout out to Shaheen for letting me play at his house, um, and also going to Ecuador with me, uh, also Ruben, Landon, Chris, Kamal. They all went to Ecuador and there I got a lot of uh, info about the format and changed the deck from Fire King to this. Um, I thought it was just better into mirrors and I thought I was just going to play infinite mirrors and it worked out that way. And also into Tempi, having a lower deck coming so you can probably get to Fuku more even if you have more ways in the Fire King deck. Um, so anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, I play a Snake Eye Ash, a Poplar, an Oak. The Abelster and the Flambridge, all of these are standard, and so are these two. Um, in the tournament, uh, Chase was uh, considered because it's a card that you can like put this here. It makes Snake Eye Ash a one card combo. It's um, like it should be this card realistically, but for the tournament, I think uh, Dramatic Chase was fine too. Um, So the Azamina cards are basically mandatory in this deck at this ratio because um, you just have less starters in the Fire King deck. This is probably wanted, but this card is like pretty close. Uh, getting impulse on this hurts, but it's whatever because it leaves this on field for all your other starters, so it's fine. Uh, three wish, this card's crazy. Uh, it used to be like mid compared to the other starters now is the best starter in the deck as a monster uh, and then the two spell searchers for the, all of your starters that's the consistency cards and makes it so you have like 14 to 15 one card starters and it lets you also serve as an extender if you get stopped on like your normal summon or like if you already have oak it lets you get poplar and play up there and you have a lot of more extension um, the defensive cards are like a little weird, I guess, but uh, I wanted to play this because of the other defensive cards in my deck. I wanted to see it of this, and then you'll see the morph, does their morph, morph wallows and other charmy than an average main deck. So I cut down on these. I didn't like this card at all, like the more I played with it. Like stopping certain things is not as valuable as just having more push. And, uh, this card is better going second overall. So and then post side you'll have all three of them if you need to go first. So I thought this was fine and then like the other defensive cards. Uh three imperm and three impulse. These cards are crazy. So it's three ash. Um that's the reason. This is the reason why there's no Fiendsmith cards in the deck. This card like lets you play like a very mid-range game with your snake eye cards you can hold on these hand traps these hand traps are really good so they hold you down even when you make a mid board uh, like the, the, the like this deck makes um and then i play all of these uh the more i played against non fire decks the more i realized that they were playing this and it was crazy that they had six and i had three this curse is crazy to see i always want to see at least one of them and this curse at least always to draw into this card can draw more, but sometimes it just stop, so it like really depends. Um, extra side. Oh, is your deck profile? You you choose first, bro. Alrighty. Uh, so this card, uh, some people tell me it shouldn't be there. I felt like I needed more interruption for my shitty M board. I I think hope is fine, but I like having the Flambridge for follow up or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Phoenix, I think you need to play this card for like your OTK lines so you don't play into Nebus hard. I like having a random pop is fine. Uh, OTK lines, you have a lot of them. You're playing this and this too. Not just there, but the standard OTK line. And this card's also crazy. What? Yeah. I decided not to play it after I go to the I don't want perks in my deck. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, these cards you have to play for playing as Amina cards. <laughs> um, this is like your main interaction along with this. This is your end board basically, just an SP and this. And then sometimes you need more, that's why the pin lights there, I guess. Um, this lets you OTK. Uh, these are crazy. Being able to have access to these again is like insane. Uh, this card is for like uh, the deck that makes you start, or if you get shifter, this card's fine. Uh, this card like lets you do some lines on the draw that are, like you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. And if you're playing chase, it's like easier to do one card wedge for your full combo. Um, so these two cards are the ones that I have to get back. They're lullaby of obediences. The card's crazy. It's extra starters. And if you're playing into bad decks, it's like a a random hand trap or a Fenrir or a Kashtira Mon card or whatever you need it to be. It can be this. Yeah, this is one of because uh, you're citing the two cross outs, obviously. And then, like, the other hand trap that you're citing is this for going second. Uh, I should probably have played one to have before a cross out. Uh, the mismatch and rarities is goofy, but we do what we can. <laughs> uh, we side this for the breaker decks. I think that's the only time you really, really need this card. And like you don't mind losing some of the follow up against those decks because you just want to stop their push. Uh, this card, because I, I didn't have any other two spots to put, but the card's fine. It's back or removal. It's going to Centurion. It's going to like random decks. It's going to Runic. So it goes fine. And then these for the Tempai deck. So it's this, but you can side this into like almost anything. I didn't play that as many continuous traps. Maybe I should have. I thought this was better than the continuous traps because it's searchable. Uh, the zoom in, uh, funny. Uh, but the card's good, I think. Um, it's not. It's not as good as something else that it could be, but it's fine. Um, it also like randomly comes up that like, if they respond to your card, they they get back by the second effect. But like it didn't come up this tournament. Uh, but the main effect did come up a couple times. But it could have been literally anything else. So anyway, uh, sending out here. Uh, hopefully we do better in the next one.